Hey y'all, it's Kelly from Dixie Darlings Tumblers back today. And of course I had to come to y'all with a little Mother's Day inspiration. I know it's a little late, so I'm sorry, but I'm still gonna bring it to you. Um, I had these great little sticker cows from Bamp Custom Creations that were a mama and mini. So I knew I wanted to use those for something. Then I ran across this great animal print galaxy theme that I wanted to do and I got the vinyl cottage to print off the vinyl for me. So then I started thinking about how I'm gonna incorporate these two elements together and I decided to do a little spin on the V split, also known as the track suit tumbler design that the amazing Jessica Flynn from Flynn Sisters Boutique created. And there's been so many variations and so much inspiration with different colors that have come out of this. So I thought, well, let me put my little spin on it. So I took the V split and did like a flip the switch in my mind how it worked. So instead of trying to explain it to you guys, I'm just going to show you. So here's my track suit flip the switch where it's up and down, or you could just call it like the double track suit. So it created these great little crosses here that I just thought were super cool and it gave me the perfect little spot to put a decal. So I did, this is the mini one, but you could do the mama on it too. I actually did the mama on a different, little bit different cup. So it's kind of like if you don't want to be completely matchy matchy, you could do like a variation of the galaxy leopard print where you still match the mama and mini, but not exact. So I had so much fun working on this, but you guys please ask any questions of anything I'm not clear on. I will list all the products that I use in the description box below. Please subscribe so you don't miss my future tutorials. I appreciate you guys watching and I hope y'all enjoy it. Today I'm going to be using a 24 ounce plump from the Steel Magnolia Company and because I'm going to be wrapping the entire cup in vinyl, I did not spray paint it, I've just sanded it. So I've just spray sanded it, uh, washed it with some Dawn dish soap, dried it off some paper towels and now I'm just trying to get a measurement on how much of the vinyl I'm going to use for this cup. It's a little shorter cup so I am going to trim off the excess at the bottom just to conserve it for later use. Then I'm just with the backing still on, gonna lay the vinyl around the cup to try to get the seams lined up pretty well and just get an idea of how, like, how it's gonna flow from one side to the other. Even though I'm gonna place the V split where the seam is, so you basically are not gonna see it at all, but I still want the colors to kind of flow from one side to the other. And then I definitely just want it to be lined up straight, not to waste any more vinyl. And then I'm just going to trim off this little edge of the backing here so I can make sure that it's lined up pretty straight on the cup. And then once I make sure it's pretty square on the cup, I'm just going to go ahead and press that one little edge down directly onto the cup. Check it one more time to make sure I'm lined up where I'm going to be straight around. And then I'm going to just peel off the backing right there on the edge where I've got it applied to the cup. And then I'm going to let the pressure of me pressing the vinyl onto the cup work the backing off of the vinyl at the same time. Then I'm going to take my little piece of tape here, lay it down on the edge that I've already applied to the cup. So when I get back around and the seam is there, I'll have that tape line to cut my straight edge right there up against. So just rub my craft knife against the tape and I'll have a straight little seam there. So now I'm just going to take my craft knife and I'm going to run it right down the edge and pull off that excess vinyl right there. And then I'll pull my tape up and I'm going to trim the top rim off next. And I will pull it really tight up against there before I trim it off just to make sure that there's no little air bubbles at the top. And then we're going to move to the bottom of the cup and I'm just going to start with one edge of the seam there and I'm just going to pull it tight around the cup. So it's not really going to matter how it goes on the actual bottom of the cup because I'm going to trim off that center excess piece anyway. So mainly just as long as there's no ridges or creases in the vinyl for where it's coming from the side of the cup around to the bottom, then you're good on the epoxy. You shouldn't have any rough places here. Thank you. 
And then once I've got it firmly plushed around all the way around the bottom of the cup, I'm just going to take my craft knife and I'm just going to trim off that excess and then just run my fingernail around the ridge right there and it just laid perfectly smooth. These cups are really easy to vinyl wrap and pull the vinyl around to the bottom. So I just wanted to show y'all that I used Cricut Design Space and I took the template and I just created a duplicate and I flipped it horizontally and then I laid them on top of each other and attached it. So I'm actually going to take that, I printed it off, and I'm going to take that and just wrap it around the cup. So I tried to do it with tape and it was just like, oh my goodness, it was just such a hassle. So I ended up just buying the template on Etsy. I will link in the description box below. And then I just created the duplicate, flipped it upside down, laid them on top of each other, attached it and printed it off. It was just way easier than, than me trying to tape all that area off. So I've applied my transfer tape and I've done it in the grid. So I have the lines all lined up pretty well. You know, like I've tried to do the edge of my vinyl with the line on my transfer tape so it will lay on pretty straight, especially with one of these designs. There's not a lot of room for error here. So I'm going to just apply my transfer tape first to make sure that it's going to be lined up. I want to line up the edge right there on the seam. I'm trying to make kind of the seam along with the seam of the actual leopard print model that's already on the cup too. So once I make sure I'm pretty square with the cup, I am just going to go ahead and press the rest of the vinyl down and I'm just going to let again the pressure of me applying the vinyl on top of the cup to work the backing of the vinyl off at the same time. And then I am here going to go ahead and cut this little strip of transfer tape off because I have just learned from error of myself that if I don't do it right now right here then I'm going to wrap this around here I'm going to have either a vinyl on top of the transfer tape or there's going to be some mess so I just want to go ahead and just get that out of the way that's going to create no problems for me when I come wrapping around the vinyl around the other side of the cup. So luckily this sizing worked out pretty good. So after I've gotten that laid on the cup and put my transfer tape off, I am going to go ahead and peel off the first color that I'm going to spray paint and apply glitter to. And then after I've got my first V split pulled off, I am going to use 2X Rust-Oleum Prickly Pear and spray paint those areas. And I did tape off the bottom of the cup before I spray painted my colors just to keep that spray paint off the bottom. And I've mixed up Counter Cultures Artist Resin. I tried to just do like two and a half mLs of each, just as barely as much as I could, because I'm just going to apply that just to the little V split here. So it's not going to take very much. It didn't even take as much as I mixed up there. And somehow I failed to show y'all that I actually am going to glitter the cup, but I do. I use Peachy Olive Glitters Cool Mom to glitter the cup, and then I let it dry for about six to eight hours. And then I'm just going to go ahead and pull my next V split, and then I'm going to retape this so I don't get uh, my spray paint on the vinyl here again. But it was just kind of getting in my way, so I went ahead and took that off here.
And I will add that I'm trying to be really careful with my weeding tool here because it will, it's really easy to dig into that vinyl that's already laid on the cup. So I would just add, be really careful when you're, if you're using a weeding tool to pull up this vinyl template, just to make sure you don't damage the vinyl that's already laying underneath. And then I'm just gonna lay some tape over where my pink glitter is because I'm gonna spray paint this second V split and I definitely don't want that getting on my glitter. And there may have been a better way to do this, but I just decided that I was gonna lay tape over the glitter just to cover it up and make sure that I didn't get any of my spray paint into my pretty pink glitter here. And then for my second spray paint color, I'm gonna use Rosolium 2X McCall Blue. And then once I've let my spray paint dry for about 30 minutes. I'm gonna mix up epoxy. And you can see here, I've got more mixed up than necessary just because I'm gonna do some other cups. But again, I'm using Countercultures Artist Resin. And I'm just gonna, as you can see, I'm barely just applying a little bit here to my air, spray painted area. And then I think you actually do get to see me glitter it this time. <laughs> So here I'm gonna use Peachy Olive Glitters 30A, and it's this beautiful blue purpley shift magic that came in one of the most recent Peachy palettes, and it's so beautiful, I love using this color. I've used it on several cups lately. And then I'm gonna let this dry in about six to eight hours, and then I'm gonna cover that color up with tape, and then I'm gonna pull off the center diamonds. I'm only gonna paint one side white. I didn't want them to be the exact same, so I actually pull them off the center diamonds, spray paint them white, and then in the center I'm using Countercultures Sterling Snow. They had sent me this color and I was really wanting to try it. I'd seen a lot of talk about it in their Facebook group. And so that's what I use on the center diamond on one on both sides actually. But one side I spray painted white first and the other side I did. And I use the epoxy method, same as I have with the pink and the blue. And then once I've let that dry, the white dry on both sides, I'm going to use the Mod Podge spray sealer and I have learned that if you use it and you touch the vinyl it will wipe the ink off so you got to spray it and then not touch it. And then I'm going to go right in to my first layer of epoxy after I've let that Mod Podge spray sealer dry about 30 minutes. It only takes one coat. I have a I really like that. I had not used it before and I heard somebody talk about it and I've had really good luck where it only takes one coat. So now I've mixed up about 30 milliliters of Countercultures Artist Resin again. That's what I'm using here. And I'm gonna apply this coat, apply my heat with my torch to pop any bubbles and let that dry for about six hours. And then I've gone into my design space and printed just the stripes to outline the V split. And I actually just took a square and, you know, stretched it out. And I did them 11 inches by 0 0.15 inches. So that's the length and width I did them. And funny story, I do them in this holographic black and then I get them all on the cup and I just decide that I really don't like it once I've laid the decal on there. So I actually pull them all back up after I've got them on here for you guys and end up redoing them in the rainbow mist vinyl. It just, there was too much of a contrast with the black once I got them all on there and then laid the decal. So I'm always looking for an excuse to use the rainbow mist vinyl and that's what I end up going with here. And as I'm laying these stripes down, I do start with my longest stripe first. So the blue has the longer line, so I'm gonna start with that and then fill in with the shorter uh, stripes second, just so I have as few mitered edges as possible. And then I'm just going back and trimming off the top and the bottom, just to kind of make sure they're pretty square, like with the top of the cup and the bottom of the cup. 
so I don't have those pointed edges necessarily because they tend to want to lift up a little bit. So I'd rather have them kind of squared off with the edge of the cup instead. And then I do apply my Banff Custom Creations decals here, the sticker cows, the little mini, and then the lightning bolts on the back. And they're so easy, just pull off the back, slap them on there. Um, I will have the link listed in the description box below, along with the discount code that you can use for your order. And then you guys can see that I've switched out the black holographic stripes for my Rainbow Mist. It also is from the Vinyl Cottage and I'll link it. I love this Rainbow Mist. It seems just to bring the whole design together to me. And then I've mixed up 20 milliliters of Counter Cultures Artist Resin, and I'm going to apply that, use my torch to pop any bubbles, and let it dry for about six hours before I'm going to place my vinyl circle on the bottom. So here I've cut out a circle that's 2.7 inches in diameter, and then I just, in the same vinyl that I've used on the cup, I peel it off and then just apply it, and it went so easy onto the bottom of this cup. And then after I do that, I've mixed up another 20 milliliters of Countercultures Artist Resin, and I'm going to apply that, use my torch to pop any bubbles, let that dry for about six to eight hours, and we are done. So as always, let me know what you guys think. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. Please tag me and share your creations with me. I know you guys are super creative, so I can't wait to see your take on my Leopard Mama Mini V-Split Flip the Switch Upside Down <laughs> Tracksuit Tumbler. So I appreciate y'all watching. Please like, share, subscribe, comment, all that fun, crazy stuff. And I appreciate y'all watching, and I'll see y'all again soon.